The Great War through a London child's eye. September the 3rd, 1916. Last night saw some of the most ferocious bombing by Zeppelins over London. I watched out of the window with Mother before we hid under the stairs. Everybody Come away from the window, Edward, it's not safe. Take cover, take cover. That's the policeman. Come on, you must do what they say. Look, they're dimming the street lights now. That means an attack could happen at any moment. Look at the searchlights, Mother. And the empty aircraft guns. They won't stand the chance of dropping the bomb. Take cover, take cover. And listen, can you hear the aircraft? I bet that's a royal flight. Given the horror of the air. Edward, come now and close the curtains. You know we mustn't let any light out. Although I wanted to watch, I did as Mother said. Zeppelins are airships that the Germans used to drop bombs on London. They are quite enormous, long, thin balloons filled with hydrogen gas. There's a small compartment underneath where the crew sit and drop the explosives. Hundreds of people have been killed since the start of the war because of Zeppelin raids. But thankfully, none of the bombs have fallen near to us. Well, not yet. I hope Sid managed to get to the underground. He's not home until late. And Mrs. Parry, she's working at the factory today. I hope she's safe. The munitions factories are one of the things the Zeppelins target, darling. I'm most awfully worried about her. But people know to take cover now. Not like when the first few raids happened. The Hun caught us all quite off guard. You're right. People know they need to do as the police say and get to a safe place. And those barrage balloons, such funny looking things. Yes, big inflated things on cables attached to the ground. I read they forced the Zeppelins to go higher. That way the bombs can't be targeted as well. I suppose this gives us an idea of what Daddy has to put up with. The constant noise of guns and bombs. <laughs> no wonder his nerves have become quite shot. It was scary as the noise of the guns and bombs went on into the night. It made me think of Father, out in France. He is so brave, and I was trying to be brave like him. Come on, Mother. How about assault? Do you know the word to, it's a long way to Tipperary? Or what's that humorous song that Mrs. Parry used to sing? I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Yes, that one. Goodness no, Edward. Anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rafferty's bugle. Thank goodness. The all clear. Oh, it's always a great comfort knowing that Mr. Rafferty is cycling around sounding the all clear on his bugle. And we're still standing. Let me make you some tea, Mother. Thank you, Edward. That would be very welcome. We found out the next day that the bombs had been dropped over Streatham and Brixton. A dozen people had been killed and over 50 injured. There was some good news, though. Sydney, you're all right. Thank heavens. Of course I'm all right, pal. Better than all right. Fancy going over East End and picking through the wreckage for some trophies. Did you hear the fireworks last night? Cure. Sure. What a show. How could I miss them? Well, I did miss some. Mother made me hide under the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe how big the airship was. I was awfully glad Tip was safe. The war makes us appreciate our family and our pals even more. Maybe because we know so many people who have died or lost their loved ones. The Great War through a London child's eye. Supported by the National Lottery through the Heritage Lottery Fund. Read Edward's diary at funkidslive.com slash great war.